All right, hey y'all, I'm back with another video. I wanted to change my area a little bit just cause I don't know, I just didn't feel like being in the same place. So I wanted to do something a little different, but I wanted to make sure I came with a video for you guys today. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, before we get started, go ahead for you who are uh, familiar with my content, go ahead and give that video a thumbs up. And for those who are not familiar, you stay tuned. Now, today we're gonna be talking about one simple thing. Paying yourself first. So I talked to a lot of people and some of these people even pay their bills. Like all of their bills are paid. But that extra money and what they're doing is they're still not managing that extra money. So being that all their bills are paid and they still have money left over, that lets me know that, hey, you are living within at least that 90 percentile. Now, I hope you're living less than that, but you at least have 10 percent of your money um, that's left over even after paying your bills okay so what's happening is you're still not paying yourself first and i'm telling you that because of the simple fact that you paid your bills first when you pay your bill you pay whoever that company is whoever that company belongs to that's not yours that's not you Okay, when you even go buy food, you're not paying yourself first. When you buy food, you're paying the grocery maker or the grocery or grocer. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So when even when you buy things that you just want, guys, you're not paying yourself first. Yes, you're getting some instant gratification and a little bit of tem temporary satisfaction, but that's really about it. At the end of it all, it's still money going out the door. And remember, we want to use money, not spend money right because when you use money it comes back full circle so you got to start paying yourself first it is so so very imperative that you start to at least set aside 10 percent. guys it's not really much if you think about 10 percent, if you take ten dollars and you take 10 percent of that ten dollars that's literally one tenth you got nine fingers left that means you're living off 90%. If you still have money left over in your pocket after your bills are paid, there's no reason that you should not have some money in a savings account somewhere. Pay yourself first, okay? Cut back on necessities. These are different ways that you can also add to your savings. Cut back on um, maybe some of the things that you do that are just not necessary, but you just like to do them from time to time. Maybe cut back. I'm not saying cut it out. I'm not saying go home and live like a dud. All I'm saying is just cut back on some of those things. Maybe you want to cut back how much you shop or how much you eat out. Or if you're an impulse shopper, maybe you want to leave your cards at home and only carry a little bit of cash for the things that you need so that you're ensuring yourself that you're not overspending. There's just little ways just different little things. Then take use of coupons and discount codes and things of that nature. Take take advantage of those things because those savings, if you take the money that you save every time you use some type of discount or coupon or whatever it is that you use to get your savings, even if it's an app, if you take the money that you've saved and you put it in a jar, I guarantee you by the end of the year, you're going to have a lot of money in there and it's going to be going toward your savings. So remember, remember, pay yourself first. You are depending on it. I mean, the older you is depending on it. Your children are depending on it. Some of your parents are depending on it. Some of your sisters and brothers are depending on it. Well, I don't know what your family situation is, but what I'm trying to say is whatever your family dynamic is, y'all are they are depending on you to make the right decision and start saving some money so that <clears throat> eventually you can be accumulate enough money to put it to work for you so that you don't have to work as hard and everyone's taken care of a little bit better as time goes on. All right, so that was pretty much it. Well, all I wanted to share with you guys today as far as the video, just a reminder to pay yourself first, not last, not last, but first before your bills, before all that. Take your 10% out, look at the rest of your money, and you divvy it out where you can. If you fall short somewhere, call them up and say, hey, I need to set a payment arrangement or blah, 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 whatever it is that you need to do in the meantime. Get on the phone with these companies, see if they offer uh, some type of discounts or some type of programs, especially if you're on low income housing or just low income in general. They have these things available. 
start turning your lights off a little bit more. Maybe start turning the hot water off a little bit. No, no, don't turn it off. But you know what I mean? Like, don't maybe not run as much in the shower or in the, in the tub. Or maybe um, you want to wash at certain times of day when, um, I know in certain areas they have like these surge things, these power surge things. Well, anyways, maybe you want to do that. Um, maybe you want to cut back on your heat or your air conditioner. I don't know anything to just save without having to live like a peasant. Because I'm not telling you to live like a peasant. Please don't go live like no peasant. I wouldn't dare tell you to do that. I want you to live comfortably, but I want you to live modestly so that you can start to accumulate the money. That's what we got to do. Everyone knows how to make money. I don't have to tell you how to make money. I don't have to tell you where to make money. You know how to make money. I don't have to tell you that. But you need to start to save that money because when you start to save that money, that's how you're going to accumulate the money. And once you accumulate that money, like I said, you can put it to work. Okay. So remember that. Make sure you check out uh, the YouTube channel. There's more videos there. There's plenty of other videos there. Take notes if you would. Uh, and so that you can apply these things and, you know, just kind of, uh, remind yourself of these things make maybe little index cards or something just something that are key reminders because you got to remember you're programming yourself to do something that you've never done before saving money investing money paying off debt building credit uh, sending your kids to college starting trust funds can you even imagine what it feels like to have a trust fund most people don't but if you start now your children just might. It's up to you. But check out the social media too. All that is in the description box. If you need any help or if you uh, need any assistance in uh, any type of way with your finances itself, uh, your personal finances, you can always reach out to me. Um, my email is in the description box, but also the website um, plans to prosper LLC. That's my website. That's the best way to get in contact with me, to be honest, because it comes straight to my phone. Boop, boop. I can't miss it. Um, but you can do that, and then I, I'll assist you there. And we can um, we can talk about your situation, and see what we can do for you. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning into this video, and peace out. <laughs>